Alright, so in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a badge, so how to award a badge to a player when they click something, okay? And this is actually pretty easy, alright? So first of all, let's make the badge, okay? So to do that, you want to go to your game settings, you want to go to monetization, alright? And you're going to go ahead and click create, alright? So then it'll bring you to this tab here, click on choose file to choose the image, alright? Let's say I want, okay, I want this one, alright? And then, so it's a Freddy badge, then... You want to go ahead and just call it whatever you want and then once you're done click on preview and then uh, after you're done with that it should be uploaded and then what you want to do is of course you want to copy the id so to do that you just want to uh, go to the game that you're working on right and then refresh it then your badge should be here so for my one i'm going to be using this badge open it and then this is the id okay you need to copy it so you want to find an object okay or anything like let's say you want to award a badge when someone clicks something, right? So I'm going to be using this Freddy plush as an example. So what you want to, want to insert for this one is you just want to right click it, click on insert object, and you insert a click detector. All right. So just like that. Or you can insert a proximity prompt if you want. Um, but uh, for in this case, it's a click detector because when you actually click it, then you want to insert a script. Okay. All right. Now in the script, you want to follow what I write. Okay. Local click detector uh, equals to script dot parent uh, find for child click detector all right click detector dot mouse click connect function and you can write player if you want but uh, yeah we'll just leave that we're gonna add a debounce as well okay we we'll do local d db for debounce equals to false all right and now if player and db equals equals to false then counts equals to true all right and then we'll do weight 0.1 and then debounce equals to false right so basically what this does what debounce does it detects if debounce equals to false right which it is and then it'll make it true immediately so then so now you can't click it again once it's true and let's say the, the these lines aren't there so let's say they're not there once it's true you won't be able to click it again and nothing will happen because it's true and it has to be false in order for, in order for it to work as you can see the if statement see but then wait point 0.1 seconds then it becomes false again so you can click it again so that's basically as a cooldown right that's essentially what db debounce does local badge service equals to game get service badge service it Badge service award to so colon award badge. Then we do player dot user ID and the ID of the actual uh, the badge. So you want to paste it in here, and then it should award the badge to the player when they click it. All right. So yeah, now this should work. But in order for you to actually get the badge and for this to to test it out, you you need to actually publish the game. So publish it, and then you want to um, go ahead and play it. All right. Play the actual game, not the Roblox studio. Not in Roblox Studio, you want to play the actual game and then see if it works. Anyway, so as you can see, we have the plush here, um, the Freddy plush. And now when you click it, <laughs> there you go. We got the badge, as you can see, on the on the right. Yeah, boom. <laughs> I hope this very quick Roblox Studio tutorial will help you in any way. But yeah, that's how you can award badges by clicking on a, something, on an object. But yeah, um, thanks for watching. Smash sub and like. Yeah, I'll see you guys later.